Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the video. Um, it's been a really long time since I've recorded, been out of the groove a little bit, and, uh, well, two birds with one stone. Hopefully this video will get me back in the groove, and uh, secondly, hopefully this monthly series will help me uh, get my reading habit a little bit more back on track. So, hi everybody, my name is Mark. If you don't know me already, I'm a student studying at NYU. Uh, I'm studying computer science and language in mind with a minor in game design. And a while back, last summer, I made a video about how to get your reading habit back on track. And I talked about a few things. And of those things was this idea of uh, social accountability. Part of the reason why I make a devlog every week with the exception of last week, I think accountability is a big thing, especially social accountability. So every month I wanna make a video about what I have read and invite people to share what they've read and what they want to read in the comments down below. The habits make progress when you track them. You know, you have to remember, oh, I read one book this month, next month you read two, boom. You've read 100% more books than last month. I wanted to do this last month, but I <laughs> didn't read much. This month of March, I still haven't read that much, but um, I wanted to make it because I, I discovered something interesting. It's this thing I've discovered before, but we'll talk about it in a minute. Just wanted to intro the video, although it's pretty poor. If you're working on a reading habit yourself, maybe what you've read, leave it down in the comments below what you're going to read this month. And so, you know, you can come back and check the comments or a notepad, putting it to the side uh, and see what you've read. See if you've met your reading goal. Pretty much the format is going to be going over the books I've read in the month, talking a little bit about them, and then what books I want to read in the upcoming month and why. You know, the idea came back up when I was like, what can I do to get reading more? The one thing I wanted to mention that I found fascinating is that of the books I want to read, it's very easy for me to read a novel and not so much a more informational book. There, some of these are probably novels, despite the fact that I feel like I want to read it. So jumping into things, I started off the year by finishing Naked Economics, which is honestly a great primer for anyone who wants to get into economics. I think as someone who really doesn't enjoy the money side of things in general, um, I found the book really enlightening and it was just a nice, very basic overview. So I might be able to have a conversation about that type of stuff in the future. Granted, it doesn't give me such deep knowledge, but it just helps me to understand how the world works a little bit more. Another book is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Frick. Very good book. Uh, something I found when I was reading this last month, all of these are before March, but this year still. Something I found when I was reading it was that a lot of the ideas are ideas that I've had in a way. Kind of like, you know, happiness comes from meaningful suffering is much more eloquently putting something I've realized myself over the past year and a half or so. Just a lot of good ideas and Mark Manson comes at you very blatantly. I love reading his blogs and articles still. It's a great writer. He comes right at you and it makes sense. And it's just well written. It's funny to read. Another book I've read is the Oristia. Now this is for a class of mine we're studying Greek tragedies um, and this is the translation by my professor but for once it makes sense why a professor would assign a book by them because he knows this book inside and out. Usually professors just do it for fun but we've really been studying this book and I actually really enjoyed it. Remember in high school in my masterpieces class we sort of read the, the, the three books, the three plays but we never studied them really and so it's, it's, it was, it's actually been great studying them and so if you're looking to get into old plays and stuff, it's not Shakespeare. I would definitely give the Oristia a, a look wherever you get the translation from. So the next two, this is kind of the, the, the two things that I've realized, right? This made this discovery with. The first thing is a uh, parable of the sower. A friend of mine gave this to me as a little book exchange we did and very good book. The whole idea of Earthseed makes me think there were sometimes when I had like put the book down and she'd be like, huh, you know, that's a really interesting philosophical idea. What do I do with this? And I read it in about three days, which was saying a lot because at that point it was taking me ages to make time and read a book. Now, after that, uh, I tried reading these other books that I had on my list and I just wasn't getting to them. I was reading very little every day. Sure, it was consistent, but I wasn't really getting to them. And those three books are what I'll get to and what I want to finish this upcoming month of April. But then I sat down and read I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zusak, the guy who wrote The Book Thief. This is an amazing book. I read it for the first time in eighth grade. I've read it like five times since. And uh, my freshman year of college, I found myself reading less and I read this in a day. And um, just last week, I read this again in a day. So it shows me that I can definitely make time for reading. It's just one thing when the book really grabs you and there's another thing where you kind of have to have incentive to read the book. While I want to read the books I'm about to be talking about, it's, I just haven't gotten to them for some reason. And so that's kind of a question I'll be exploring a little bit as I, you know, go through the month. Seeing where is the best place to fit in some reading time and perhaps saying, you know, Maybe I don't want to do homework right now, but let's not procrastinate on Netflix or something. So let's read a book, a nice middle ground, or go on a run is what I've been doing in these situations, but maybe I can read now. This is just a rambly video. I don't know how many eyes are going to land on it. I'm sorry. So that's what I've read this year. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six books. Technically seven, if you count. There, I'm pointing to two graphic novels. An artist I followed for a while, Gabriel Piccolo, did art for two comic books of Beast Boy and Raven. They're fun to read. But yeah, so let me put this back. Favorite book of all time, hands down. 
Anyway, the other three books that I wanted to finish in the month of March included uh, The Will to Power by Friedrich Nietzsche. This I've been going through slowly. I'm barely in it. I keep picking it up and then putting it down because I mean, at the start I would read a bit and then want to think about it because when you read philosophy, you can't just read it. You got to think about it. Um, and then I put it down for a while um, to pick up a book I started a very long time ago. I restarted recently. Sapiens. Very good book. I'm what on page 161 and there's about 460 pages. Really cool, fast ending book. And so, you know, bringing back to this question of why I was able to sit down and read The Messenger in a day. It's like, this is really fascinating. It's such an intriguing read. But for some reason, The Messenger won out when it was go watch some TV or read The Messenger. But this doesn't win out in that. And I, and I want it to. I genuinely want it to. I genuinely want to digest this material. And the third book, where are you? Letters to Milena by Franz Kafka, technically. This is a series of letters to his... Czech translator, I believe. I got this ages ago, but I'm rereading it because I don't think I understood it. Um, it came up after there was a conversation about Kafka with someone, and it's just been fascinating to read about knowing a bit more about Kafka in a sense. And all in all, it does get a little, not philosophical, but it does make you think a little bit. It's just fascinating to read how this, this guy, <laughs> this very well-known author, how he wrote in letters to just someone else. And I, I think it's just super fascinating to see the kind of detail and language that he uses. Those are the three books I want to finish in April. I have a small, I'm going to throw up an image right here. I have a small list on Todoist, my favorite app ever. And uh, so we have Sapiens, The Will to Power, and then Letters from One is below that, but I moved it up. The other thing on there that I also want to read is this book here, Spelunky Boss Fight Books. For my game design class, we had to read a part of it, the part that talked about procedural generation, I believe. And it was just a super good read. It's by the guy who made Spelunky. Um, and as someone who's interested in game design, not necessarily as an occupation, hopefully one day that would be really cool. Just from a point of view of how are games well designed, what kind of thought goes into this game making process, plus I'm making my own game, in theory. I also want to get to this. So that's four books. <laughs> Because last year I put down 60 books for five books a month. Did not make that. Thought I could have, thought I had it in me. 40 books this year. Bumped it down a lot. I want to do four books a month, one book a week, but uh, I don't know. I'm just not sitting down to read. And so my goal here is for the month of April, finish, finish all these bad boys. And if you have book recommendation, no, I have, I'm going to throw pictures up. I have books on my desk of what I want to read next, which is what you saw on the to-do list list uh, down here that I want to read. <laughs> Some old books to revisit. Kierkegaard is in there. Letters from a Stoic is in there. I've read the Enchiridion and the Meditations, which are up here. If you have book recs, let me know. Those are the ones I want to finish right now. I also have The Witcher in French, but that's not even and thought. More or less a ramble video, but I want to make one at the end of every month. So today's March 31st. Super gonna quickly gonna edit this tonight. I have two drinks, so it'll probably be up pretty late Eastern time, but I will check back in with you on April. How many days are in April? You know, I use calendars so much and yet I still don't even know. 30 days in April, four books. Let me know what you're reading in the comments down below. And if you have a name for this quote unquote series, should I make it into one? Let me know. Yeah, you know what? With each one, I want to, I want to, say this is what I'm going to change. What I'm going to change is I'm going to try to read before bed every night, even if it's just a single page or a single line. Um, if you want to know more about reading habits, I think my tips still stand for the most part. So in my video that you can find up here. But yeah, so during tutoring tonight, depending on how many people show up, maybe I'll read instead of uh, doing what actually I have to edit this. Or do I? That's enough rambling for me. Thank you for bearing with me. Did I have anything else I wanted to say in this primitive script? Ah, yes, my last point is good lord, I'm not feeling this because video making has been rough recently. Not necessarily rough, just haven't done it. My last video of the month was going to be a video essay on free time and leisure time, but I wasn't feeling like writing an essay with all my classes going on, so we'll save it. For the third time, thanks yet again for watching. Have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next month.